One area seeing quite a bit of wind damage is right along Potter Track Road. This is in Grand Bay. News 5's Dana Winter went out to that area. She joins us live from a family produce stand where she spoke with one farmer who says his hopes of a good harvest blew away, Dana. That's right, Devin. The family produce stand, the Sessions Farm, has been here for several years. Each fall, its shelves are lined with pecans grown just down the road. But damage from Tropical Storm Gordon is leaving more of these pecans ruined on the ground than on the table. Just a constant roar for about, for about two hours. We had a pretty good blow. The roaring winds brought by Tropical Storm Gordon now replaced with sounds of cleanup. It seems like when we get a good crop, a hurricane comes. Art Sessions has seen several storms come and go across his pecan farm, but this one took down some of his biggest money makers. Over this tree here, probably 100 years old. This year, Sessions says losing the crop hurts a little more. It was the biggest crop on our farm I think we've ever had. While there are still trees standing, Sessions says the storm still could have hurt the nuts. When they get beat, beat up and bruised up, you know, we're just not sure about the quality at all. He says whatever nuts they do get off the trees this year will be salvaged. But his main concern is now quality. It couldn't hit at a worse time. If it had waited till uh, 20th October, we'd have been opened up, you know, crack, cracked open. Sessions says his pecans were hit hard. But his other crops are also seeing significant damage. I've been out looking at the cotton, and it's, it's blowed down pretty bad. Sessions tells News 5 he expects it will take at least two to three weeks of cleanup before it's finally back to business as normal. For now, reporting live in Grand Bay, Dana Winter, WKRG News 5.